to my couch. Welcome everyone. Welcome to this kind of impromptu video. At the current time, uh, it's been a few days since I got back from the Manchester Comic Con and I just wanted to do some random shit, basically. As you might be able to tell, I have a little bit of a cold, which may or may not be due to the fact that I ran around naked in Manchester while it was raining. Never mind. But it was an amazing event. I recommend to anyone who likes games or likes stuff. Basically, you d if you like stuff, go to, to one of those Comic Cons. It's, it's right there. I don't know why I'm pointing there. <laughs> but it was amazing. I met a lot of friends that I had never met before. And I met a lot of new people and it was amazing. And I'm gonna go again in October. That's how much I liked it. I want to go again this year. So I'm gonna be there. And I'm gonna be dressed as a villain. Look out, people. Be afraid. But enough waffling around. I didn't bring you to my couch for this reason. Well, maybe a little bit, but whenever I go to a different country, um, I usually like to bring some things back to try. Where it usually involves like sweets or savory stuff or just mementos that I'd love to bring back. I mean, life is short. You should go travel, explore what other people live, just take for granted. And of course, I've brought like a ton, a ton of sweets. And they're so delicious, I already had some, but you need to see these things. If you haven't tried them, you need to see them and buy them, because they're really, really good. So first up, this isn't exactly a UK exclusive thing, it's more of an American sweet, but we don't have them here, because Denmark apparently isn't that big on peanut butter. But it's Reese's, this Reese's, it's chocolate and peanut butter, and it... I already had these because I couldn't stop myself, but they're really, really good. I'm gonna have one for you right now, so you can experience the absolute pleasure of it. Oh, burn. These are the mini versions. I uh, <laughs> I wanted to buy like the like the real size peanut butter cups, but they're a bit expensive for just three pieces, so I wanted a ton of them, basically. So they look like this, like mini mini little cuppy thingies. And when you bite into them, mmm, mmm, joy. They have peanut butter inside. Look, oh, it's good. The only thing that can make peanut butter and chocolate even better is more peanut butter. So this is this is my technique. You take a spoon, you put it into your peanut butter jar, and you do that and you put it on the peanut butter cup and you eat it. I mean, it's even better. Mm. Nom. Seriously. Peanut butter and chocolate has to be the best combo ever. Next up, minstrels! Another thing that you can't find here in Denmark. These are kind of like a um, bigger version of an M&M. They're basically like candy chocolate coating and a softer inside. Hold on, I have to open them. Let me get my knife. Knife! So you open them with your knife. Bam. And they look like these, like these beautiful shiny little bonbons. Can you see that? Can you, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's lovely. And bite into them. Mm. It's kind of crumbly, but that's only because I've been keeping them in the freezer. I like them more when they're cold because they're breakable and they're absolutely delicious. They taste like a really smooth chocolate and then you get the crunch of the shell and everything. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Yum. Next up, we have these giant buttons. Giant buttons? Now, I know that they have instructions on how to open these um, beautiful little bags. I mean, look at them. They really, this is a nice purple. Good, good job, Cadbury. It's a very attractive packaging. But I have my own method of opening things. What these basically are is <laughs> milk chocolate. I imagine these are quite good for decorating. And considering I have to make a birthday cake pretty soon, so I'm gonna make an oogly googly cake with go oogly googly button eyes. It's gonna be delicious. Yum. Now, the next item. I have been waiting a long, long time to find. And I finally found them. They were really not easy to find. Well, I technically didn't find them, I just knew the right person. A Cadbury cream egg. Now, I have, been, <laughs> I have been waiting to try this for a long, long time, and it is absolutely delicious. 
I've already prepped one here, already cut. And it's basically a big, thick layer of chocolate milk, chocolate stuff, chocolate. And it has like white and yellow frosting inside, which makes it look like, an, like a real egg. And it's really, really good. Mm. Yep. Lived up to its expectations. Yum. A funny thing about this uh, Cadbury cream egg, a friend of mine actually suggested that I freeze them and the texture would kind of change. So, for this video, I have prepared such a thing. Uh, this is a frozen one. It was definitely more difficult to cut, but of course it's frozen. It's nice and cool, which is nice for this weather. So let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Definitely a change in texture. The inside filling is like, um, it has the consistency of a caramel. I really like that. I like it more frozen. Yay, frozen! Drinking some tea. Cause it's damn hot. Fucking hell. It's really, really hot. Oh, here comes the chocolate dance. Now this next item isn't from the UK or Denmark, but <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing to admit that I've lived here for quite a substantial num number of years and I never tried this Swedish candy. I've never tried a dime bar. Dame bar? Dime bar? I still don't know how it's pronounced, but I hear it's pretty good. <laughs> Damn bar! Urgh, hope on. I want the chocolate! Alright. Oh, oh, oh my god. Damn! Why didn't I try this before? Oh my god. If your country has dime, damn, damn bars, you should really try it. You have this milky chocolate exterior, and in the and in the center, I don't know if you can tell, there's like some nuts in there. I think it's almonds, enveloped in like this very tough caramel sort of toffee. It's absolutely amazing. I could. Now I understand why people were recommending this. Now the next item is something that I'm gonna regularly pick up from the UK because I have grown to love it quite a lot. Marmite. I tried it before in my previous vlog thing, but <laughs> it, it was made apparent to me that I ate it wrong, so the way you should eat it is toast, butter, and marmite. So I put some butter on this time, bitches. Mm, 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 mm. But that was kind of it for the food things. Stuff that I picked from Comic-Con were basically a lot of comics. There were other items as well, like anime and stuff, but they were a bit overpriced. But I found some really, really nice comics there. These, uh, actually these two, these two, were free. They were just giving them out for free. And then I picked up some Judge Dredd comic books. These two. And Planet of the Apes, some X-Men stuff, and a pretty lady in a pool of blood holding a knife. Because. What I usually look for comic books, I'm not a collector myself, but in my college days, um, I usually use these for our art books. I couldn't really afford the art books, like the professional ones, because they're pretty expensive, like over a hundred bucks. So I basically just went around, bought comic books, and this is a great way to find inspiration if you're a graphic artist or any kind of artist. These are really, really good materials for practicing and finding out your own style and everything. Another person I got to meet at Comic-Con is a YouTuber that I watch quite a lot and he also does reviews of these strange, strange items. And he's called Ashens. He was there promoting his movie and I got one of his t-shirts, which is the Game Child. His Game Child. Damn! He's a really, really awesome YouTuber and it was an honor to meet him. That's kind of it, guys. That's the Comic-Con slash holiday haul that I purchased dur during my very brief stay in the UK. I'm very much looking forward to the October uh, Comic-Con that's going to be in London. I'm going to be cosplaying as well, so I can't wait. It's going to be good. I've been the Zen Bear. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you appreciate these kind of vlog things. I really do like to try out new foods from other countries. I'm very, very into that. And uh, yeah. Keep on damn it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog. Damn.